Hello guys, welcome back to Watch Prediction Watch for you. Today in front of you we have a watch from Mr. Jones Watches. Now this is a company based in the UK. It's not a micro brand. It's actually a um, brand that sells actually a lot of watches. And they have their own workshop. They assemble their watches in the UK. Actually just uh, recently watched a video of their workshop from another YouTuber, which was pretty cool. They actually have their own watchmakers in-house. They assemble their watches. And instead of using hands, they actually use discs on their watches, which is pretty cool. It's an interesting way to tell the time. Anyway, the shipping was actually really quick through FedEx and uh, comes in this nice little box here. Retail price is $5.75 US. And uh, let's see what it's all about. But first, let's see what's on my wrist today. On my wrist today is my trusty 114060. I've had this one for about seven years now. And uh, it hasn't failed me. Still keeping great time, and it's still a classic watch. Actually discontinued with the new models now. And uh, yeah, great little uh, no-date Submariner. Now the watch comes in this really cool packaging. You can actually see the movement through the box, which is pretty cool. Um, yeah, as you can see here, nice little designs on the box. Let me just take it out of this. This comes out over here. This opens up. As you can see, Mr. Jones watches. And you get your little instruction manual here. And there is the watch. So as you can see, this is the one with the bird on it, which is really cool. It's called the Silent Thief. And it's a really, really cool watch. Very, very nice watch. I think for the price, you're getting a lot for your money. Let me get out of the package and we'll show you what it's all about. So up close and personal with the Silent Thief, as you can see, it's a very interesting dial. It's really nicely done, I must say. The quality is very good. I think it's definitely worth the price tag they're asking for. As you can see, it tells time in a different way, not a traditional sense of time telling, uh, but you can definitely still tell the time there. Now, the watch itself is crafted of solid 316L polished stainless steel. It's pretty much all polished all around, and it's 45 millimeters. The bezel is 38 millimeters. As you can see here, everything is all polished, very high polished. It looks very nice, actually. You can see how the bezel actually separates itself a little bit from the case there, which is pretty cool. You can actually see one of the discs uh, right there with the bird on it, uh, which is a separate disc from the uh, hours, uh, which is pretty cool. So we get 45 millimeters in terms of actual diameter here on this model. Um, we get about 13 millimeters thick. It's not too thick, which is pretty nice. It does have a Swiss automatic caliber as well, which is really nice. And we also do get a sapphire crystal with anti-reflective undercoating as well. Um, so we have a 53 millimeter lug to lug, a pull and push crown, which is at the 1030 position, which is a little different. Um, you know, the dial is completely different, obviously. It's a very different watch. Um, something you really want to look at. Um, definitely something that's going to grab a lot of attention as well. Um, but yeah, we get a pull and push crown, 50 meters of water resistance on this one. Not something to take in the water considering it is on a genuine leather band as well. Definitely do not want to take this one in the water. About 100 grams um, in terms of weight, uh, which is pretty nice. It has a nice weight to it. It's not super light. It's not super heavy. I think it's a nice weight for a 45 millimeter timepiece. And the finishing is actually pretty good. Um, very high polish, like I said. Kind of Kind of looks very luxurious, I'd say. You know, there are a lot of um, hand-painted dials um, that they do out there. I'm not saying this is a hand-painted dial, but uh, there are custom hand-painted dials from, like, Patek Philippe and stuff that sell for, like, insane prices. Um, but, yeah, I think this looks really good. I want to get you in a little closer here so you can see the actual dial. As you can see, there's kind of like a kaleidoscope effect, uh, which is really cool. Very fine detailing, which I really do appreciate. As you can see, there are discs in here, and... If I could go through the back right here, I can get you a glimpse of the actual movement. It does say the Silent Thief as well. We do get a quick release on this Genuine Leather Band as well. What's inside of this actual watch is the STP-111. Now the STP-111 is very similar to the Edit 2824. It's basically uh, the same exact movement almost. Uh -huh. It's a Swiss made movement, it's made in Switzerland. It has 26 joules, beats at four hertz, which is 28,800 beats per hour. Uh, nice striping on the actual rotor, which is pretty nice to look at. 44-hour power reserve. This one keeping very good time on the time graph for about three seconds plus per day. I believe they do regulate the movements. So I'm not 100% sure, but, you know, considering they do put together the whole entire watch in London in their workshop, in their store, Mr. Jones' store, um, I'm assuming they do regulate their movements, even though I couldn't find any information about that. Now, very simple. We get self-winding, as you can see here. We get one position which you can pull out here. There's no date wheel on this watch, uh, which is kind of weird because it is the STP-111. I'm assuming they removed the date wheel. And then you can set the time here. Really cool. 
If you guys didn't notice, if you watch the running set, I'll show you in a little bit. As you can see, there are two discs, one for the hour, one for the minutes. If I go ahead and set it at exactly 12, jumping to 12 right now, and 12. So there you go, that's 12 o'clock exactly. Pretty easy to read. Obviously, you're not going to be able to read it at a glance unless you have superhuman vision, um, but you can look at it for about one or two seconds and you can tell the time. So definitely legible. You do get the markings around the end here, as you can see. Um, but yeah, I think it's very well put together, very nice. As you can see, the bird's eye there, just wait for it. Um, there you can see, which is pretty cool. So it kind of sweeps around these seconds and you can see the little bird's eye there, which is pretty cool kind of comes and goes. I think that's really, really cool. Let's get in a little closer. There she goes. Very fine detailing. I like the way it came out. There are no imperfections or anything like that on the actual watch. I think for the asking price, it's a pretty good deal. Uh, it comes on this black genuine leather band, which features quick release. You can always change out the bands, guys, if you don't like any band on any watch. Uh, this is a genuine leather, pretty simple band. It did throw a custom Mr. Uh, Jones watch buckle on this not a stock buckle. So I think that's a nice little touch um, But yeah, there, obviously there's no loom on this watch guys This is not a watch that uh, is gonna have loom. It's not a sports watch I would call it's more of a casual watch. It can definitely can be dressed up and worn with a suit It's definitely something that's gonna get a lot of attention uh, Definitely a conversation starter. You know if you go to a party or an event with this watch You're gonna be like what is that on your wrist and you're gonna be like this is a mr. Jones watch and uh, yeah uh, you know, Mr. Jones produces a lot of different, you know, watches with cool designs. I think one of their most popular ones was their Skull one, which was actually really cool. Had my eye on that one for a while. I believe they're actually sold out. I'm not 100% sure. Anyway, I will drop a link down to the website in the description below. Um, yeah, the leather band's nice. Definitely will need a little breaking in, I must say. Um, but like I said, you can throw any band on this watch. I'm going to go ahead and throw it on a already broken in leather band that I have. And uh, see how this one actually looks on my 6.75 inch wrist, 45 millimeters in diameter, keep that in mind. So as you can see there, I have this ready broken in, really comfortable German leather band. I've been using it on a lot of different watches lately. Just, I don't know, I just really like it. It's really soft. And uh, yeah, I think it looks perfect. That nice, you know, light brown with the blue. I think it goes really nice with the yellow tone also. But as you can see on my wrist, it actually fits pretty nice. Uh, it definitely has a large presence, but it's not overly like, wow, you know. Uh, but definitely, you know, I think if it was any smaller, it'd be harder to read the time, actually. So I think it's a decent size. Um, you know, it's a size that should have, you know, it should have been made this size. But yeah, very comfortable. I think it uh, looks nice on the wrist. I think it's very casual. It's not too loud, I would say, but um, definitely has some nice presence. And uh, it's definitely going to grab a lot of attention just because of that crazy dial, that kaleidoscope effect. Uh, which is really, really nice. So anyway, guys, there you have it. I think Mr. Jones makes some really cool watches. Uh, their quality is very good. I wasn't, you know, I didn't know anything about their quality or anything before, you know, getting this watch. Um, but I definitely can say now their quality is very good. Um, their cases are very nice. And they do assemble all their watches in London, uh, which is really cool. Very nice case. Very nice finishing. No sharp edges. No quality control issues. Shipping was fast. And I think they're putting out some pretty cool stuff. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. Do you own a Mr. Jones watch or would you like to own one? I will drop a link to their website. They have a lot of cheaper quartz models as well. This is the automatic with the Swiss automatic caliber. So it's a little more expensive due to, you know, these Swiss parts and such in the movement or the Swiss movement in whole, I should say. But anyway, guys, let me know what you think. Leave your comments, questions, queries down in the comment section below. This was actually designed by an artist. I will leave his name in the description, a little bit about him as well. So you can read up about that which is pretty interesting. Anyway, guys, definitely like the video, share it with your friends, let me know what you guys think, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.